Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Croft Studios here, and I'm here with the smallest Kill Bill Lego mock. Today I am here with the bride meets Hattori Hanzo, and this happens when basically she's looking for a sword, and Hattori Hanzo makes the best swords in the world, pretty much, and she looks for someone to make her a sword, and obviously her reference is Hattori Hanzo. So she goes here, and she and he actually took an oath to never make swords again, but he did it, in, in, with the exception for her, um, and she's going to use the sword, basically, to slay her enemies and do what she needs to throughout the movies. I don't want to spoil too much if you haven't seen the movies. So, we'll get straight into the set. I would include two characters in this set, being the Bride and Hattori Hanzo, obviously. So, the Bride is our first character, which is Beatrix Kiddo from Kill Bill. And she's a very simple minifigure. She's just wearing her normal clothes, and she has a, um, kind of emotionless expression and then our second minifigure would be Hattori Hanzo who is the guy who makes the sword you can see his outfit right there and his face has black hair so very simple minifigures but they definitely get the job done so let's move into our actual model the first of two models in this set is a small area where you can hang swords and in Hattori Hanzo's little sword making area he has a lot of swords hanging on the wall and uh, just kind of laying around. So we wanted to make a small area for this set where you could see some swords, and it's a very simple design as you can see. Um, we use some studs with holes in it to connect it to the top, and there are swords hooked in with these brown pieces, and it looks very satisfying when you're looking at it like this. Um, and it's a very simple model, but I think it looks really cool. So let's move into our main model. So the main model of the set is basically where Hattori Hanzo makes the presentation of the sword to the bride. And uh, we thought this would be really cool to make in Lego. It's just a very small model, but I think it was a really cool scene from the movie, so we wanted to make it. So basically, you'll take Hattori Hanzo and put him back there. Let's take a look at the details of this real quick. We've got some Lego white heads acting as lights. We've got some really cool candle pieces. We've got a big sticker piece right here with a dragon detail. And we have Hattori Hanzo's best sword ever right here. And uh, that's just kind of sitting on this little pedestal right here. And you can see the model itself is not a lot, but I think it definitely gets the job done. You can see on the back there's just some slope details. And basically you'll take your minifigures for this set. You'll take Hattori Hanzo and you'll put him right here. And then you will take the bride and put her on the other side. And you can do the presentation of Hattori Hanzo's sword to the bride. Overall, I think we did a good job at representing the movie scene and making it somewhat of a play set in a way. This would definitely be the smallest of the Kill Bill sets if they ever did make them. Um, it would include an exclusive minifigure with Hattori Hanzo and it would obviously include the bride. And in reality, it would probably include a better sword um, for Hattori Hanzo's sword since it is like a specially made sword for her. But in this case, we just gave her one with uh, we just gave her one of the black katana pieces. But overall, I think the set looks really cool, and uh, it would be a really cool uh, addition to a wave of Kill Bill sets. We've also got a whole playlist of those. If you haven't seen them, we've released a few of them already. So I highly recommend you check it out if you enjoy this series. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I really appreciate the support on my mocks. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys soon.